Welcome to Stranger Bridgerland Storytime. Excerpts from Stranger Bridgerland book series. Available on Amazon. Caretaker From Stranger Paranormal Book 6 in the Stranger Bridgerland book series. Caretaker by Anthony Author Notes I have changed the name and purposely not named the cemetery in this story. I will say, with Anthony's permission, it is in Oklahoma. Anthony is still the cemetery's caretaker and is uncomfortable with people looking for ghosts in his cemetery, which I completely understand. Anthony I retired an engineer in 2012. I live in Oklahoma. I was only 62 at the time, and after a couple of months of traveling and visiting family with my wife, we settled into our retirement routine. It didn't take long before I was restless and bored. I have always been a person that keeps moving and going, so I looked for a leisurely outdoor part-time job. A friend of mine at the city office told me they needed a part-time caretaker for the cemetery. I live in just a small town in Oklahoma. I love being outside, and the idea of helping to maintain such an honorable place was perfect. I applied and got the job. Because I became the head of the cemetery, I had a few helpers. Two or three teenage boys would help me mow and edge the grass during the summertime, and they helped clear off old flowers. I watched over the cemetery and locked up at night, arranging funeral plots when needed and scheduling the city workers to dig new graves. I've been there for eight years now, and I love the work and the feeling of caretaking for the loved ones of others. I get asked often if I have ever seen anything like a ghost or paranormal things. I always laugh it off and change the subject. In truth, I have seen many things that would turn most people's hair white. I don't tell many people my stories because I don't want ghost hunters or bored teens stopping around my cemetery at night. That feels disrespectful in my opinion, but I do feel like I should share some of my stories with you. My first experience was a week after I started. I was walking the cemetery looking for things that needed fixing. I walked once every day and do a visual check of, for damaged garbage that might be blowing around or causing problems. I was doing my inspection when something white and moving caught my attention. I looked up and whatever it was darted behind a headstone. It was around 30 yards from me and I looked but could see nothing. I kept walking and then again I saw something white dart from one headstone to the next. I kept an eye out without looking directly at it to see what it was. I saw the flash again and I turned and saw a little boy in a white outfit, almost like a little sailor's outfit. He was darting from one headstone to another. I stopped and watched. I hadn't seen anyone come into the cemetery at the time. I kept an eye out when the little boy stuck his head out from behind the headstone. He had dark hair and a pale complexion. He looked to be around four or five years old. When he realized I had seen him, he smiled at me and then disappeared behind the headstone. I quickly walked over to see what he was doing. Obviously, he was with someone in the cemetery, but I could not see anyone else around. I got to the headstone and looked. It was empty. I looked all over, but couldn't find him. That kept happening over and over the next month. I finally realized I saw a real, undeniable ghost. After some research, I found a four-year-old who had died suddenly in 1918 was buried in that part of the cemetery. His name is Charlie, so whenever he shows up, I just call out, You going with me, Charlie? Let's check out everything. I've heard him giggle 
on a few occasions when I turn to catch him. He will jump behind the nearest headstone and I can listen to him laugh. I have seen many people in the cemetery that turn out to be spirits. The one that stands out the most happened one evening, right before I locked up. It's a part-time job. I don't spend all day at the cemetery, but I lock up most nights. On one occasion, I had driven up to lock up and had done a quick search of the entire cemetery to make sure it was empty. As I closed the gate, I looked around and no one was in, so I headed out to lock up. Down one of the aisles stood a woman looking at a grave. I shook my head, wondering how I had missed her. I started to walk down the aisle to her. I got about six feet from her, and I asked, Ma'am, can I help you? She kept looking down at the grave. She wore a dark dress and had a shawl pulled over her head. I could see shocks of gray hair underneath the shawl covering her face. Ma'am, are you okay? I said to her. Without looking at me, she said in a whisper, I'm looking for a grave. I was a little shocked at her voice, and I said, What is the name of the person you're looking for, so I can help you? Again, without looking up, she whispered, I do not need your help. I looked at her, then back over my shoulder at the gate. I looked at her, then back over my shoulder at the gate and responded, Ma'am, I'm locking up the cemetery. It's closing time. Maybe... My voice trailed off as I turned back to see the woman had vanished entirely. When I looked over my shoulder and looked back, she had disappeared. I stood in silence of the cemetery with nothing but light breeze wafting past me. As I stood looking around, I got a strong smell of rosewater perfume. I knew instantly I had just had an experience with another ghost. I turned and quickly headed out the gate and locked up. I have had many more experiences at the cemetery. Perhaps they are for another time. <laughs>